Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the 2017 Range Rover inside of Pembroke Pines Cars inside of the Luxury Game Pass for $87,995. Now, this is Carl with the Let's find out in today's video. But before this video starts, guys, I want to let you guys know that there is limited high merch available on the Roblox group. It's, uh, I'm wearing this right now. And uh, it will be available for one week only, so you should copy what you can. And let's get into this review. So, this car, it looks pretty nice. I like it. It's pretty cool, pretty nice. Uh, it's big. It can hold probably a lot of people. Uh, looking at it, it doesn't have back row seating, so you can't really have third row, but you can have two row. Let's get into the car and this is the startup. Oh, the startup is uh, pretty standard, um, pretty normal. Most of the cars in this game have it, so I'm not really concerned about the startup really. But let's do the blinker test. I like the blinkers. I like the little bottom part dedicated to blinkers. I like that. That is a nice design. But let's do the headlight test. Okay, that's the daytime running lights, headlights. I don't really see much of a difference with the headlights. Let's do the horn test real quick. Horn's alright. Let's do the rev test. Sporty rev. But let's get into the road and let's do the top speed test. So, uh, kind of getting off the line there. We already hit 60 miles an hour. So it's a little fast off the line. It has some decent acceleration. It's pretty good. But will it hit top speed before uh yeah it hit top speed 120 i mean 138 miles an hour so the brake test starting now brake test is pretty good ish it's not that it's not the best but it's pretty good 130 miles an hour to zero uh starting from that sign back there is pretty good let's do the turn test turn test is going all right first turn nice turn Let's go 70 around the second turn. Hit the curb, but the car didn't slide. Let's go into the second turn. I'll just hold the gas. Actually, no, let's not hold the gas. The car still didn't slide out. Let's hold the gas for this next turn, though, because it's big enough for me to actually do that. Hit the curb, but the car still held it. So it's really good in turning. It has enough body to turn ratio. It's really nice. doesn't slide. It's really good turn radius. So overall, I rate this car a 9.1. It's better than the Euros rating that I gave, because the Euros did slide out a lot. So the turning kind of, you know, bring it down. But the 9.1 for the uh, Land Rover here, it's pretty good, pretty nice. And uh, if you guys want it, I mean, I highly recommend you should count, copy it while you can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.